Good afternoon, dear traders. Hello, everyone. Welcome to InstaForex Economic News Channel with us, Annika Satkina. And Kate Nidachna. You are watching currency and commodity combined review over the last week. So what were the changes on the currency market? The US dollar fell against the euro on Friday. And what events triggered such a dynamic? The reason was the soft statistics from the USA. Early on Friday, the euro traded on the downbeat note at the low of 1.1322. A slew of the US data discouraged investors on the Friday's trading finished 0.3% lower. Elsewhere in Europe, the macroeconomic reports showed that the recovery is still fragile in the region. In particular, the German and the Euro areas GDP gauges were below expectations. Besides, Mario Draghi said Thursday that QE program will be implemented in full. Nevertheless, USD beers managed to show their strength. Thus, Euro USD jumped to 1.1449, having added 247 points over the week. Preliminary gauge of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index went down in May from 95. To its seven year low of 88.6. This news, together with the butter to New York PMI figures, as well as report on industrial production from the Fed, forces the market players to push back the expectations of the rates hike by the US regulator. On Wednesday, the report on retail sales also pressed the market. The greenback slumped to 9% against the euro after reaching its 12th year high in mid March. Since the year start to USD lifted 5.6%. Meanwhile, the pound was moderately higher at the end of the week to settle in the black area at 1.5726. The weekly growth of the pound was 351 points. The pound's rally on the heels of the parliamentary election continued last week as well. In addition, better than expected jobs data sent GBP USD to trade at the highest level in 2015. Wages growth in the UK is still persist, which is a positive factor for healthy inflation. Apart from this, unemployment is to 5.5% in April, the lowest level since the middle of 2008. This is all about the Forex moves. Thank you for the currency market overview, Kate. You're welcome. And uh, what were the oil and gold trends last week? Oil market was under pressure while gold was in great demand. Global prices for oil are still falling amid the worries over the oil market glut. The prices took a nosedive right after the IEA statement that despite lower shale oil output in the USA, the market is still oversupplied due to production volumes in other regions. During the New York session, the prices for WTI oil contracts settled 0.3% lower at $59.69 per barrel. Meanwhile, while July Brent futures grew by 0.2% to $66.81 per barrel. Over the week, the quotes added 2.2%. As for gold, it managed to claw back to the green area ahead of the bell to close the trade. The weaker green bag gave a boost to the yellow metal. Gold futures for June delivery tacked on 10 US cents to 1,225.30 US dollars per troy ounce. The weekly increase totaled 3.1%. Anna, thank you for the commodity market overview. You're welcome, Kate. You have watched InstaForex combat review of currency and commodity markets. The report was presented to you by Kate Nidachna and Anika Sat. Take care and goodbye. See you.